Hello and welcome to Next in Learning. I am Sijesh. This video I will show you how to deploy a virtual machine in Google Cloud. So first log into Google Cloud Console. So you will be getting a page like this and go to the uh, left side top and click on this navigation menu. So you can see the various offering that this Google Cloud provides and under this uh, you can see a lot of tools and uh, again it's classified into different different sections under big data artificial intelligence and uh, under compute you need to choose the virtual machine so you can see the compute section here uh, our app engine compute engine kubernetes engine cloud function etc so the virtual machine you have to choose so that is uh, compute engine so in google cloud the virtual machine is called Google Compute Engine. So you can uh, click here or on the top uh, search option, you can just type uh, Compute Engine. Just to type uh, the Compute Engine. So from here also, you can launch the visa to deploy virtual machine. So either you can uh, select from the navigation menu or from the search option, you can choose. So if you already deployed some virtual machine that will be listed here and in my case I don't have any virtual machine running or deployed so nothing is there. I'm choosing this create option to deploy a new virtual machine. So you can see a lot of options here like the first one is the name. Okay, so name you can give some name to your virtual machine. This is the name it displays when uh, you log into this page. You can see that instance name. So you can just give some meaningful name like uh, my demo uh, VM01, some name. Okay, and the label label is similar to tag. You can add some label that is just for your future reference. I'm not uh, going to add any uh, label. The next is the region and so on. You know, uh, Google Cloud uh, has a lot of data center across the globe. So they have a lot of geographic locations like America, Europe, then Asia Pacific uh, uh, and uh, North America and South America. So these are different, different uh, geographic location. Under that, they have different, different region. So for example, uh, if you consider India, then in under India, India comes under Asia Pacific geography and we have a Mumbai region. Okay, in Mumbai, they have a data center. And again, within the Mumbai, they have a, uh, three uh, zones. Zone means it's like a separated um, data center like uh, so uh, there will be a redundancy and if you deploy the resources in one zone and again that zone goes if you have the same resource available on the other zone so you will get an availability so but for the virtual machine so we have to choose uh, one uh, region and uh, one uh, zone okay and uh, I, i'm i'm just uh, selecting my my demo vm and us central one uh, region i am choosing under us uh, central one we have got four region i mean four zones so region and uh, one region may have multiple zones but you can choose any one of the zones for a virtual machine deployment okay see that is about the zone and uh, here if you look here the machine configuration so here we have to choose what type of machine we need whether it's a compute intensive uh, different different uh, type of or generation of machines available compute optimized memory optimized general uh, purpose then gpu based all this again has a lot of uh, virtual machines available and from here we can choose the machine type basically it control how many uh, cpu and memory it should have so i'm choosing relatively a lower sized one uh, two v core and uh, one gig memory and uh, uh, this these two options i'm leaving as default then uh, we will discuss that later and then uh, you can see one boot disk 
So this will tell what kind of operating system we are going to install. Then if you have, if you want to install uh, Win Windows, you can do Ubuntu, uh, then RHCL, uh, CentOS, any operating system you can have. So if you want to change, just uh, select this uh, change option and you can see a lot of public and custom images and uh, snapshots or existing disk option available. So the public images means somebody uh, or it can be either Google or its partners has already published the image. You can make use of that. So let's just choose the CentOS one and the version also you have CentOS 7 and 8. You can choose that. And uh, what is the operating system disk size? So I'm choosing the default. If you want to increase, you can increase this size. Then select. Uh, I'm just adding in the firewall HTTP traffic because we will just quickly do some validation uh, using HTTP. That's it. Okay. So just uh, re revising the things like uh, the first thing. Okay. You have to have a name. So what is the name of the virtual machine? So you can give some name for this virtual machine. Second label. Uh, we can add some label from here. So uh, label is similar to tags in uh, other uh, cloud platform they refer as tag. Again, this is an optional. You can skip this. And region. So region is the main uh, data center we are choosing. Okay. So US central. So the, we are choosing the default US central. And under US central, so we will have different different zones. Zones are okay. So this is under your central location. Google has data center and and within that again uh, four zones are available. So the concept of zones and region I will explain later. So but in case of virtual machine you can deploy virtual machine in any one of the zones but multi zone option is not available here. Okay either here or here or here. Then the next is uh, like uh, the configuration. So this mainly control the CPU and uh, memory you need to use. Okay, the CPU and the memory you can choose. So based on this, if you choose high CPU or high memory machine, so definitely you need to uh, pay more. Uh, next is the boot disk. Okay, so which control which operating system? Okay, which operating system we need to uh, install. So you can choose either existing uh, template or you can have the custom option also that we will see later. So you can choose either Windows or Linux images from this. So just uh, go to this, uh, explore this change option to change the operating system if you want. Then uh, this service account and identity uh, we will discuss later. We will uh, keep this as default okay we are not going to change this option and uh, so uh, x okay then uh, this one also we are just leaving as default and we will see that later <coughs> then the firewall so firewall uh, determines okay which request uh, we can uh, send or we can uh, receive from this virtual machine so it control uh, the traffic basically and we will see that uh, the firewall configuration option in uh, detail in a later session. And uh, the traffic, I'm just uh, opening HTTP traffic. Okay. And that's it. So once everything is done, you can just uh, click this option to create. Or if you just uh, want to reset this option and again go back, just to click this cancel option. So now uh, go ahead and click uh, create. To create this virtual machine you can see uh, the status here okay so this is getting deployed again it takes some time maybe a few minutes we'll have to wait so now the deployment is completed you can see uh, this is showing us green the instance is up and running and uh, you can see the details like the zone where it's deployed and uh, uh, okay and it's the internal IP address the internal IP address is same as the private IP address this is the private IP address and the external IP address 
the same as the public IP address in other cloud we uh, term th use this term as public IP address so this is the public IP address and uh, if you just want to connect uh, this so we have this option to connect from this SSH just to click here to connect that so this is our VM name that we uh, have given during the deployment this is the zone where this is deployed okay and if you want to connect we can connect uh, from the SSH option here now let's connect to this virtual machine uh, from the connect option available in this window come here and then open browser in window so this will open a new SSH window so you can see something like this again uh, it, it's trying to connect this virtual machine you will get an SSH terminal okay that's it uh, this is uh, your your virtual machine if you just uh, type host name iPhone F sorry that is a typo so this is the host name and uh, fully qualified host name and the host name is demo VM so this is the name we have given during the deployment and uh, let's switch to sudo user and now we are into root user httpd so I'm trying to install httpd or uh, simple web server I just need to test because I already enable HTTP service in the firewall I just need to access this page and see how this is working and once this is done systemctl start httpd so now we can check the status of this httpd service using status okay httpd service is up and running now back to here get the public IP address just uh, click http colon slash slash this one you can see a test page okay so this test page is coming from uh, this virtual machine we have installed uh, the httpd service and started so you can stop the service and this uh, page won't load load okay so that's it uh, for this demo you can also try to deploy a simple virtual machine so initially choose the size as minimum that always uh, lower your cost so no need to take a higher end uh, or no need to select a higher end machine initially so based on your requirement you can choose the higher end machine for your uh, simple testing always recommend you to choose a very basic uh, machine thank you for watching this video we will see in the next video bye